In this video, we're going to talk about one specific surface analysis. We're going to set the parameters for that surface analysis, and then we're going to apply those parameters to that surface analysis. So what we're going to first do is we're going to jump over to our tool space window in our prospector tab, and we're going to go ahead and right click on our EG surface and do surface properties. Inside of surface properties, we're going to navigate to the analysis tab, and then we are going to drop down the analysis type and select a slope analysis. Inside of our slope analysis, I'm going to define five specific ranges, and then I'm going to hit my arrow down to populate those ranges into my range detail window. When I'm working with surface analyses, what I like to do is I like to make sure that all of my ranges are shown in the range details window rather than having to scroll up and down. So what I do is I expand the surface properties window until all of my ranges are shown. Inside Civil 3D, once you've specified your ranges, Civil 3D looks at your surface and populates your minimum and maximum slope. It doesn't necessarily evenly distribute those slopes, but it does define your minimum slope in the first range and your ultimate maximum slope in your last range. So this is contained inside of your statistics. If you look at your extended statistics for slopes, uh, we have a minimum grade slope of zero and a maximum grade slope of 43.43. And if we look at our analysis tab, we see we have a minimum slope of zero and a maximum slope in our last range of 433.4269, which rounds to 433.43. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to specify my minimum and maximum slopes, but spread the ranges out a little bit more. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is change my first range to be between zero and 10. And then when you move on to the next ranges, what you always have to make sure you do is have your minimum slope below your maximum slope. You'll return an error if you try to set a minimum slope larger than your maximum slope in that range. So if I say my minimum slope is 10%, but I still have my maximum slope at 2.0647, and I hit enter, Civil 3D will return an error that says minimum value must be less than the maximum value. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. I'm gonna choose my new maximum range for this area, which I will go up to 50% slope, and I will set my minimum slope as 10. Then I'm gonna move on to my next range. I will set my next maximum slope at 100 and 25, uh, and then I will set my minimum slope as 50. Then I will move on to my next range and I'll set my maximum slope as 250. And I'll set my lower range, my minimum in that range as 125. And then I'm gonna move into my last range and set my minimum slope as 250. And then I have my maximum slope set at 433.4269. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm going to apply them and say, okay, 